My name is Tuan Verdin. I'm a professor at Duke University from the Biomedical Engineering Department and Chemistry Department. And also I'm director of the Fitzpatrick Center for Photonics at Duke University. So over for the last uh, two decades, I've been involved in you know, bringing the nano, the bio and photonics area into an integrated single platform for medical diagnostic and therapy. So specifically, we're working on uh, the so-called nanoplasmonic. So what is plasmonic? Plasmonic relate to the so-called plasmons. And plasmons are, you know, um, electromagnetic field due when they hit, let's say, a light hit the nanoparticles or metal nanostructures. It creates, you know, the electron density, you know, wave. And those are called a surface plasmon. So when you have light interacting with nanostructure, you create so tremendous enhancement of the light or electronic field of those uh, nanostructure. So we take advantage of this uh, plasmonic effect and create the biosensors, those are sensing system that can detect early disease. So how we do that? First, you know, we, we have, for example, nanoparticles, uh, metal, silver, or gold. Then we bring the bioreceptor, because the bioreceptor could be an antibody, could be a DNA, a piece of gene sequence that have the capability to recognize early biomarker of a disease, for example, cancer. So we can you know, see a gene defect. Then those nanoparticles, if you look either in an in vitro test, like say a, a drop of blood or saliva, it can detect those gene defects. And when it detects those gene defects, it tends to bind to this, we call it hybridized. And then, you know, when you shine light on the probe, after the interaction, it changes the color, it changes the emission. In our case, it changes the Raman signal, which is a so-called scattering light from the laser. And that the Raman scattering become enhanced tremendously and become, we call it, referred to surface enhanced Raman scattering, or SIR, S-T-I-S. So this is how we detect, for example, early biomedic disease. Now, why don't we do that? Because with the nanoparticles, when we integrate photonics, nanotechnology, and bioreceptor, then we can look at signals of disease at the early stage. Before that, you know, the person feels they are sick. Before that, the tumor appear in a cancer. So then what happens is that if you detect disease at the early stage, you can treat it. It uh, very easily, so it cut the cost, it cuts the time, it a tremendous uh, paradigm shift in the health care. Now, why plasmonic? Now, why SIRS? Because the SIRS, I mentioned before, that they have uh, the tremendous uh, enhanced uh, surface and Raman signal, it has very sharp, narrow bandwidth. We call it sharp peak. So we think about color with a very sharply tuned color. In this case, if you have those sharp, narrow band color, then you can detect multiple diseases at the same time. You can also look at the biomarkers of a person due to genetic variation. So then you have a so-called multiplex detection. At the point of care, when you have that multiplex in KBLB, you can look at you know, the signal that be affected by the genetic provider of the, the patient. So it leads to so-called personalized medicine. So when you want to do personalized medicine at the early stage, so those plasmonic nanoprobe, nanosensor allow you to detect that disease at the very early stage upstream before the disease becomes uh, threatening. How do we as scientists, as a photonics engineer, work in this system and make it happen so that in one day become a, a tool at the clinical, at the point of care? So I'm fortunate at Duke that I collaborate uh, a lot very, very much with the clinical um, you know, investigator. For example, in the plasmic nanoprobe, we're working with Dr. Victoria Seawall, who is a leader in breast cancer. So we are working with her to see whether our nanoprobe can look at early disease um, of breast cancer. Another example we work with, for example, with uh, uh, Dr. Jeff Ginsburg, um, Christopher Woods, and Amy Zass. These are clinical physicians work in specialist in uh, infectious disease. So by collaborating with the clinical people, we are allowed to apply our technology and make it, you know, relevant to infectious disease detection. 
Then the, another thing I want to mention at Duke University, Duke has a big medical center, but also I direct the uh, in Fitzpatrick Institute for Photonics. And that institute bring together on the simple, single platform, Bain Photonics, different type of people with a multidisciplinary background. We have now an institute uh, over 80 faculty from more than 26 departments, not only from physics, chemistry, engineering, biomedical, uh, electro um, engineering, but also people from oncology, radiology, pediatric, neurosurgery. So in that Institute for Photonics, we integrate multiple disciplines. And I think that is something that at SPIE, we would like to create that platform for multiple disciplines can interact together.